Shabbat Shalom. Good morning, fellow Ambazonians. Today, now Saturday, number three day for this number nine month for the year 2022. My name is Nakapo Daniel, the Deputy Defense Chief of the Ambazonian Defense Forces and the spokesman of the Ambazonian Governing Council, aka Sense Pass King, on our own countryman. Wanna welcome to our daily podcast. A program where they bring on the truth, the facts, fact based analysis for help we as we walk through this journey to our freedom, the independence of Ambazonia. Good citizens of Ambazonia, La Republic du Cameroon. Over the past four days, they ran launch a full-scale invasion for Oko, targeting the Ambazonian Defense Forces overall commander for Oko, General Bush Rambo. General Bush Rambo, na the armored car killer, the greatest Ambazonian them, where he be responsible for the highest material loss for the Cameroon military. One of the armored car way, General Bush Rambo, he then target them. Now the one the way they bring them from abroad, one of those armored car then cost about two million US dollar for La Republic. General Bush Rambo, he then bury six of them, five of them, then see the, the skeleton, then see the for inside Oko. General Bush Rambo, the armored killer, he then stand strong as La Republic to come around, they then invade the area for place to be facing a headquarters. They come for day with 13 trucks. With two armored car, the whole place will be surrounded from Sunday till Wednesday. We will be up all night. They monitor the situation. General Bush Rambo and the soldier them they fought very well. They not lost a single soldier until the last day with the Republic to come around. They withdraw. General Bush Rambo he proved for them say he been at the armored car killer by launching a successful counter attack. When the La Republic, their forces, they will retreat, they neutralize one of their, this their converted uh, armored personnel carrier with an IED strike. Oi! Where? Where? We have struck them. The very low cover fire that ensue tells of the casualties suffered by La Republic to Cameroon terrorist forces in Bafut as well. A back-to-back hat trick was scored by the Bafut 7 Kata with another strike again with the enemy against the enemy using an IED attack in Bui. General Kapo, the overall commander of the ADF in Bui, also carried out an incursion into La Republic around Bafut Sam, capturing some weapons. This one, and the small thing that we will go for take them for that anti gang them for for that type of Bausam. One go for the show say the wrong run. Show say the wrong run go meeting for the public site where they call their own meeting where they be go meeting. So this one. The operation was target targeted a vigilante group that have been set up by the Republic to Cameroon to mount her borders and beef up security to protect prevent further Ambazonian incursions. Still in the great state of Bui, General Vipers of the Air Force launch an attack against the Cameroon occupation forces that were based in Jakiri, neutralizing two of their forces on the spot and harvesting their weapons. September 2022. Air Force, oh yeah? We got our pressure shock day. <laughs> For man we know. Yes. The mission will be today built by General Viper. In a, video, in a video released by General Viper of the Air Force of Bui, they, you could see the weapons that were recovered from the operation being uh, displayed with more bullets. La Republic to Cameroon have lost a total of close to 60 soldiers in the last half of last month and uh, in the beginning of this month. Cameroon is suffering a military defeat from Ambazonian forces. And we continue to encourage Ambazonians fighters to keep up the momentum and also 
to make sure that they continue to get within range. This has been the winning ingredient. Get within 25 meters to target when you want to open fire. Preserve your bullets. Get the Cameroon terrorists in sight and more and more of them will fall until the last Cameroon will be booted out of Ambazonia. And time and time again, we are reminded why we are fighting against this monster of, uh, of a state called Cameroon and their terrorist forces. Yesterday, on the second of this month, in Kufluf, in the great state of Bui, Cameroon terrorist forces, they launched a raid at night surrounding a civilian residential area where farmers, mainly farmers, were sleeping with their children, thinking they are safe and sleeping sound at night. The Cameroon terrorist military break into the first house in Kufluf, meeting a husband and a wife lying on their bed with their six-month-year-old baby. The Cameroon terrorist military shot all of them point blank, murdering the father, mother, and a baby, wiping out a family unit in their sleep. This one, now the civilian way, the military way, they don't invade Kuflu, where they don't kill him. So I could still go for a place where a woman and he begin the, begin where he never yet reached one year. Now they work for military, this, this is like around. So this one, now the, now the civilian way, the lot of people like military, they don't come kill him. Now they begin this, they begin never yet reach one year. Okay. And now they mommy this. So, now work for... The video was sent out by members of Kuvlu village. They are not in shock. They are not surprised because this is the work of Cameroon terrorism. If anybody thinks that because you are not a soldier, you are free or safe from Cameroon terrorism, you should think twice. How many innocent Ambazonians in their homes, in their vehicles, on their way to market, in their schools, some even going to school, have been shot and killed. Some in bars, drinking, have been shot and killed by Cameroon professional terrorist forces. We must all be vigilant. We must all gather evidence of such crimes. We must all work as a unit. It always takes a village to protect a village. As our soldiers, they continue to monitor Cameroon bunkers in the few areas, in liberated areas where the Cameroon still have their bunkers. Our people should remain vigilant and our people in the diaspora should do all they can to support our liberation on the ground. It takes a lot of financial sacrifices to monitor the Cameroon terrorist forces 24 hours as we're supposed to because they are an imminent threat to the livelihood and the life of our people as we have seen repeatedly again and again. As we round, out, round up this uh, podcast, I want our people to have this thought in their mind. What type of human beings who are trained by government put up a national uniform called the B will walk into a house at the middle of the night in Kuflu, just like in Kuflu, arrest the father who was sleeping with the wife, murdered the wife and the daughter who is less than a year old on their bed, drag out the father and execute him out of the house for no crime, for no suspicion nothing at all they were just a poor farmer sleeping this particular man as we have heard is somebody who always is quiet as they talk in a defining trouble for no man what type of a people who commit such an atrocity they probably have their commanding officer their commandant to supervise the mission this is not the first time this will not be the last time cameroon will not stop their terrorism until we stop them. These are delusional mad people who are denying the reality of our history and our identity, even when it is apparent and clear and evident that this is who we are. 
Cameroon is a mad country. They are mad men. They are sick. They are terrorists. They are blood drunken. We should have zero, zero tolerance to anything La like Republic. And anybody who will carry this their flag of terrorism, their symbol of terrorism, or preach about this Cameroon should receive the full expression of anger of our people from the slaughtering of jewelers in Bamenda, the killing of Mami Apia, cutting of Samsoya's head, the list go on and on. This is what we have seen and known that the Cameroon have done to us because we stood up for our right, let alone the disappearance that have taken place before that date that we did not even notice because we were blind. In this era of enlightenment, given all what we have seen on the ground, we should throw at this enemy everything we've got. Everything we've got, we must throw at this enemy. No matter what you are, no matter where you are, if you see a Cameroon terrorist military, if you know where they eat, where they drink, whatever you can do, do it. Do it. It will be the right thing to do. We'll be doing a special recruitment for a special commando unit across our national territory, Indian in particular. We are calling on any youth of over four people who can form a unit who wants to join the Ambazonian Defense Forces, in particularly Indian, it is urgent to contact my office to facilitate their recruitment and vetting. We are also calling on youth within the estates of CDC across Ambazonia. Any youth in a group of four who wants to form a unit of the Ambazonian Defense Forces in any area that have a CDC plantation, please contact my office for recruitment, for training, for action to protect Ambazonian interests and to safeguard our liberty and our rights of self-determination for the independence of Ambazonia. Capo Daniel, signing off.